We're not quitting yet. There's another one in there. Oh my gosh, the two babies. So we are here with Blossom and this is her new boyfriend, Peter. Blossom, as you can tell by this activity, I don't know if you can tell, but she, they're actually reading to their, their little baby that is on the way. So last episode, these two were off on their ski vacation. They decided to make their relationship official. Now they've been dating. Well, they haven't really been dating. They haven't made anything official. They knew that there was romance between them. Clearly, look at this. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything. This is just them going and kissing each other. But yeah, they've gone on a few vacations together. But finally, I think they were tired of the distance. Blossom is just a little bit, she's not super romantic. She's unflirty. So I think she was the one that kind of wanted them to take things slow. But she finally realized that she wanted Peter to be a part of her life. So she asked him to be her boyfriend. And then he immediately suggested that they moved in together. And Blossom agreed. Now, they were on birth control. So even when they would woohoo, we would get like a little buff that, um, you know, they were happy they were having protected sex, that there was no baby on the way. But clearly something went wrong <laughs> and the birth control must have failed because Blossom is very pregnant. She's already in her second trimester. She couldn't ski, so they did some hiking instead. Now they're just wrapping up their vacation. They're going back this morning, but on the way home, they're gonna go do a little detour to meet Peter's parents. So Peter lives in Windenburg. He's been living with his parents and then just occasionally going to travel with Blossom. Blossom lives in Henford-on-Bagley. So she's got a little tiny cottage, which, we were already like, where are we gonna put Peter? But now we're like, where are we gonna put Peter and a baby? Peter's gonna get the opportunity to pick up, you know, I don't think he has too much stuff, but maybe grab some clothes and stuff like that. And then they're gonna go back to Blossom's Cottage where they will now be living together. They will now be sharing that space. Extend rental. There we go, vacation is over. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and end it then. <laughs> no time for breakfast. I guess they can maybe stop for some food on the way because it's still quite early. They're gonna stop in and then we do have to go get an ultrasound and we need to find out what the gender of the baby is or what the baby's sex is because we don't know anything about this pregnancy. <laughs> I was not prepared for this. So I think they should be able to tell in the second trimester. Actually, you know what? I think we should actually do that first because I think it would be cute if they were able to kind of meet his parents and tell them, you know, about their first grandchild. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Experience exceptional care on your journey to parenthood with our pregnancy checkup service. Our comprehensive package includes essential pap smear, ultrasound, and blood tests, all conducted by our expert medical team with state-of-the-art facilities and personalized care. Trust us to support your path to a healthy and joyful pregnancy. Let's go. And we're going to bring Peter with us. So we're going to go. We're going to confirm our pregnancy. We're going to figure out the baby's sex. Yeah, and then we're going to go meet Peter's parents. So it's going to be an exciting episode for sure. So why don't we start with a blood test? This mod, I've updated the Panda Sama mod. So I actually haven't seen this part before. I've seen the ultrasound, but I haven't seen like blood work or any of the other options that seem to be new. So I'm really excited to check these out. Okay, let's see. Oh, she's in like a maid, a maid outfit. Okay, I guess that's like the hospital what they give to patients or something. They give them a maid uniform. <laughs> oh yeah, she's she's not enjoying that. Oh, she just yeeted that needle. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> All done. We will get your results back tomorrow. Please don't worry too much. If there are any issues or concerns in your results, I'll make sure to get in touch with you and discuss things in details. But remember, no news is good news. And let's go get our ultrasound and let's see what can we see here. I think that's a baby. Is that a head? I think that's a head. Corinne is telling us. She's like, see, that's the umbilical cord. Baby still got lots of room to grow. She's like, oh, wow. She's so pretty. Congratulations. <gasps> Congratulations. You're expecting twins. The ultrasound shows that you have two healthy babies growing inside of you. This is a big change, but we'll be here to support you every step of the way. It's important to take care of yourself and your babies. So be sure to get enough rest and eat a healthy diet and stay hydrated. This is an exciting and busy time, but with proper care and support, you'll be able to have a healthy pregnancy and delivery. I was not expecting twins. And we're having a girl and a boy. The ultra scan shows that you're expecting a healthy baby girl. The same baby appears to be a boy. It doesn't say the boy is healthy though. 
Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. But like, I don't know how I feel about it exactly, but it's exciting, right? We can definitely handle twins. This game loves multiples. There are twins in the family. Two of her sisters are twins. But still, I really wasn't like expecting twins at all. So we're going to have to find space for two babies. I really think we're going to have to renovate the house. The only question is, what money are we going to use? Because we don't have that much. But anyways, let's not worry about it just right this second. Let's see. Do we have the ultrasound in our inventory? I'm guessing. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so let's travel. We're going to grab a bite to eat and then we're going to go meet his parents. So, I mean, I guess we can just imagine that like they wouldn't have gone home in between this, I don't think, because all of these worlds are very far from each other. So I think they would have found a hospital in Windenburg to go to to get that checkup done. We can go maybe to this pub and get something or we've been to that pub before, haven't we? Maybe we can go to a cafe. This is the cafe where we met Peter the Heron Hedgehog. Should we go there? That could be cute. They go to the place where they met. Let's do that. Oh, is that our cannoli already? I think it is. Oh my gosh, nice. It came so fast. And is that his scone? Oh my gosh. We got our food so fast. That's the fastest I've ever seen. Maybe it's because it was food and not a drink. I think I have a hard time with the drink. So Peter decides to sit there and Blossom decided to sit out here. All right. Well, whatever floats your boat. Our mom got remarried. Oh my gosh. Willow is married to Edgar Goodley who's a mixologist. I did not see that coming. It looks like this Edgar has no other family. So I guess we're going to have to go meet him. So this is Peter's house where he grew up. It actually is quite nice, clearly. Let's knock on the door. Let's say hi to mom and dad. Yeah, let's have them meet Blossom and tell them that we have a baby on the way. Here we are. Their gorgeous house and they have this beautiful pool out back that his parents are actually enjoying right now. Is Blossom nervous? They're like out front here. They're not going in. I think she's a little bit nervous to tell them. She's like, we just decided to start dating and I'm showing up pregnant with twins. What are your parents going to think? And he's like, my parents are going to be fine with it. They trust me. They know that I would only make good choices and they'll be supportive. So don't be scared. Let's come back here and meet them. Oh, Blossom is going to, they have some, do they have waffles out? She found some waffles somewhere. Oh, they're in the fridge. Okay, yeah. I'm going to let her eat those because she's quite hungry. Peter's come over to say hi to his parents. So I don't remember his parents' name. We've got Oliver and Stephanie. I think he, he quite likes his parents. I don't really remember too much else about them, but we're going to let Blossom eat and then I'm going to have her come and announce about the baby. And then up here, look, they're already ready for a grandkid. They've got like kids toys out and stuff. They like never got rid of Peter's stuff. And then yeah, this is, oh no, this is Peter's room here. Yeah, you can see the bed is still assigned to him. He's got a little photo of Blossom in him here. That was, I don't really remember when that was to be honest. So, and look, they have a potty and everything. They're, they're definitely ready to be grandparents. They're probably going to be like, oh, finally, like we're getting Peter out of the house and he's going to settle down and actually put some roots. You know, we've been had him here for so long and we just like want a grandkid. I'll bet you they're going to be actually pretty excited to find out they're going to be grandparents. I think there's a special way that we can share the big news with our ultrasound. Blossom, you, you, I know you don't want to, but you have to tell them. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he's happy. It looks like he's very, very excited, so that's good. Okay, let's see what Stephanie thinks here. Guess what? We're having two babies. Not one, but two. You can each have one of your own grandchild to play with. There will never be any fighting over. I don't know why we keep seeing this like negative thing that comes up. I feel like we're always seeing that. I think that they're happy. Well, that's good. Peter's over here just chatting with his dad. He's like... So, uh, Dad, <laughs> do you think um, you can help us out a little? Because, like, Blossom is very independent, and I love that about her. But she lives in this little tiny cottage. I don't know where we're going to put two babies. I don't know if you'd be willing to help us out at all. All right, how's Blossom doing? She's tired and hungry. I think we have to go home. Yeah, it's 6 p.m., so Peter's probably grabbed a few items. So we're going to head back to the cottage. I don't think we'll renovate the cottage until, like, after they're born because they can just, like, be in little bassinets or something when they're locked to their cribs, when they're little babies, and we can just move them around. 
So I don't think we need to extend the house just yet, but we probably will need to by the time we have to fit them both in as infants because there's just not going to be space for them. So Peter, welcome to Blossom's Cottage. Isn't it quaint? I think that he would say like, okay, you go nap. I'm going to make some dinner because you're hungry. Let's make a big batch of mushroom soup. And then we're going to take Blossom upstairs and she can just like nap in her bed. Peter, did you finish cooking? Oh, he did. Nice. Okay. He's waiting for Blossom, though. He's not going to eat just yet. Why don't you um, make a fire? Because it's a little bit chilly out there. And then whenever she's done napping, she can come and grab her soup that Peter prepared for her. Here, what trimester are we in? Second trimester. Third trimester in five hours. Okay, so it's they're going to be born, like, I think maybe in the night. So we might actually give birth to them the episode after, like, the next episode, I think. Oh, we didn't get Peter a job. Okay, I'm going to get him the gardening job as well because we said that he would do the same thing. And he is going to be a gardener. He's like, he really wants to just flirt and stuff. But she's like, sorry, I got to I gotta do some work. I forgot. He has to get to gardening level two and purchase some garden seeds. Peter's actually already almost to level two of his gardening skill, which is good. Oh, but he doesn't want to keep studying. I'm going to let these two like flirt a little bit and stuff. Whoa, did you see the hearts come out of the box? That was so cute. Okay, even though he's not super into giving gifts, he's very happy that he did. And she gave him a flower in return. Blossom gave Peter a gift with a sweet message attached. I love the joy that you bring to my life every waking moment of every day. Oh, so cute. Peter's just going to bed. That's okay. We'll, we'll go to bed too. Nice of him to scooch over to make sure that like we have space too. That's sweet. But of course, again, I wouldn't, Whoa, <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less of Peter. Peter's sleeping through the wall. <laughs> so Peter, we're going to work from home. Blossom, do you work today? Yes, she works at eight. Blossom is up. Let's have her come over here and we will serve a bit of breakfast. We'll serve some fruit salad. And whoa, these two are kissing. They're obsessed with the fact that they're living together now. You can like distance was hard for these two, I think. It definitely made the heart grow fonder for them. And they're now very happy to be living together. Okay, I guess I'll send her to work. Because she she doesn't seem to be getting the work from home option. Oh, look at her outfit. It's so cute. I love her work outfit. Oh my gosh, she's so pregnant. Oh, look at the birds fly fluttering around from his beautiful singing. I don't think the fox thinks it's beautiful. The fox is like, you need to work on that. <laughs> no offense. Your girlfriend has a much nicer voice. We should be able to get a rabbit home. There we go. So now there'll be more rabbits around. Oh, look, her chicken is in the kitchen. If you get to know the chickens and have a good relationship with them, you're able to get higher quality eggs, I believe. And you're more likely to get like the special eggs too. Oh, is this his dad? Let's go um, invite him in. <laughs> We're barely here a day and his dad's already come visit. Blossom's family has not come to visit her at all. Like none of them have, I don't think. I do think though that once the babies are born, maybe we should have some family come. Maybe we can meet Mabel's daughter. She's a child now. Well, we've met her, obviously. Skylar, we went on vacation together. But maybe we can see how she's doing now that she's like, she's no longer a toddler. I think last time we saw her, she was a toddler. There's Ashen's child as well that we need to, to get to know because they were a baby when we left. They were freshly born when we moved out. Willow, we've been thinking about trying for a baby. Do you think we should do it? We want to, to but we're not sure. It's a huge responsibility. What do you think? Oh my gosh, Willow, you have already like five kids. We'll just tell her to decide for herself. But that, like, she has so many kids already. We're going to have to go meet her and um, her new husband. Blossom really needs to sleep and eat, Peter. <laughs> I know that you two are very excited to be living together, but Peter's, like, really distracting Blossom here. She's not able to eat at all. Like, he's actually being almost, I would say, like, a little bit clingy. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on. Don't fight our chicken. Did... Did it kill our chicken? Where'd our chicken go? Oh my gosh. I think, I think it got rid of our chicken because our other chicken is gone now. Oh no, that's not good. I did not want this. Maybe I need to turn off foxes. I didn't realize it could actually like kill your chickens. I'm going to have Blossom just go to sleep, but I'm going to have Peter take a look. Oh, the grocery stand's not going to be open anyways. So I'm going to have him read his gardening book while Blossom sleep. But I am going to take a look. Like, like we've got so many Snapdragons. Maybe we can sell some of those. So I think what we're going to do today, once they get up... <gasps> 
Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We're in labor. This was the fastest pregnancy. Okay, wait, we need to call our obstetrician because we haven't even decided what kind of birth we're going to do. Let's do a natural delivery, I think. I'd love to do a home birth with Blossom, but it costs a lot of money, I remember, and I don't think that they can afford to do that. Let's do some breathing exercises, maybe. Okay, I swear, I thought we had like a whole other day. Yeah, let's get her a nice yoga ball. We'll bring this to the hospital with us. And Peter's just feeling flirty. He's not even like stressed or anything. I think we're going to go to the hospital. Birth emergency. Whoa, 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 whoa. Blossom might be experiencing stalled labor. Keep monitoring the situation. And if it doesn't improve, she might need an emergency C-section. Oh, no. We're having stalled labor. Okay. We should probably head to the hospital just to be safe. Have baby at hospital. We're going to go with her. We're going to bring Peter. That's not good. Okay. Well, I mean, with twins, I think it's quite normal to have a C-section. So that's not really a surprise. They would maybe not recommend we do the natural birth, but still, this doesn't sound really good. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we need baby names. <gasps> do we have any neat? I don't think we have rules for this, Jen. What would Peter and Blossom want to name their kids? I could see them going a more natural, like natural name route. I don't think we have any particular rules at this point. Welcome to the clinic. Feel free to make yourself comfortable. Oh, there's already a yoga ball in here. Okay, perfect. Let's come and ask Peter for a back massage. She's like ready to go ahead and just start napping right away. You can try to do some labor-inducing activities such as taking a walk or doing exercise on a birthing ball. You'll get go into active labor once you're 10 centimeters dilated. How are we supposed to know if we end up needing an emergency C-section, though? <laughs> He's ready to help. He's like rushing. He's like, okay, you need a back massage? I'll give you one right away. <laughs> He's like, right. She's like, hold on. I can't run. She does not look like she's having fun. We could probably get an epidural, couldn't we? Oh, it'll be over soon, Blossom. I promise. Let's ask for an epidural. There. So hopefully we can be at least in a little bit less pain. Peter is like, look at his face. He's trying so hard to stay calm and keep Blossom calm. <laughs> oh, I really wonder what they're saying. Like, I know they're Sims, <laughs> but I want to know what they're saying to each other. Okay, so she's going to get her epidural. There we go. Owie. Let's check our dilation. How close are we to giving birth to our baby? She looks pretty excited. Hopefully that means that we're only two centimeters. Okay, well, we need to eat some food. We're pretty hungry. There we go. Oh, and it's Easter. Oh, exciting. But I don't think they're going to be able to celebrate. They're going to be at the hospital, I feel, for a while. Blossom needs to sleep and eat. She's like, I'm really having a hard time keeping her full. Peter's hanging out in this like doctor's office, I believe. Let's have him come downstairs and... Can he nap somewhere? Because he may as well get some rest while he can. He can hunt for eggs and then he can nap a little bit. We're just going to let them sleep a little. It's going to be a while, I think, before she gives birth. So we may as well get the sleep now. We won't be able to once these twins are born, I fear. There. So she's doing a little bit of speed walking. It's morning now. So we've been in labor for a few hours. We do have our epidural. She's still very uncomfortable, though. Pregnant in labor from trying for baby nine days. Settling in from early labor. Things are settling into a manageable rhythm. Instead of stabbing pain, the contractions are now more of a dull pr pressure. Blossom is feeling strong and confident that she can do this. She should be getting some rest before it's time to push. But the thought of becoming a parent soon and the adrenaline rush is keeping her awake. And pain relief from receiving epidural. The epidural has kicked in. Each contraction is becoming less and less painful. Blossom feels she might be able to take a good nap before it's time to push. That's good. Okay, so she's feeling pretty good. We could come maybe do some exercises on the ball. I don't even know what Peter's doing. He's just watching TV, I guess. You can do it, Blossom. I believe in you. These babies are coming. Okay, okay. We need, a, we need names, though. We need a boy and a girl name. So uh, what do we think? Something nature-y, I guess. Ivy for a girl. Oh, that's a cute name. What could we do for a boy? We could do, like... We have ivy. What goes with ivy? Cedar or oak? <gasps> ivy and oak? Does ivy and oak sound cute together? What do we think? Poison ivy and poison oak. <laughs> Actually, that fits for the next gen. All right. So we've got our names. We've got ivy and oak. Blossom, we have the names for your children. You can, uh, you can be ready to give birth now. <laughs> We're prepared. <laughs> we picked the names. You're up. It's your turn. Let's do a breathing exercise and then we'll check our dilation one more time. How are we feeling? 
feeling energized, minty freshness, confident, deep connection, all the friends, settling in early labor, pain relief, ready for some action from Woohoo Drive. Okay, how are we doing? We've been in labor for like 12 hours, nine centimeters. No. No. All right. We're going to do one more exercise. She looks like she's really starting to not feel good. This has to be it. We have to be at 10 centimeters. Do we do it? Fully dilated. Go talk to one of our obstetricians right away. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, wait. Let's get in position, everyone. Okay, okay. Here we go. She's pushing. She's pushing. Oh, come on, Blossom. You can do it. Look, the doctor's like yelling at her. <laughs> like, you can do it. Come on. Come on. Peter looks so concerned. It's a baby girl. This baby needs a name. What would you like to call it? So we have decided on Ivy and Oak for the twins. So the girl will be named Ivy. And then the boy will be named Oak. Ivy and Oak. Thank you for the name suggestions. <gasps> oh my gosh. You can basically see what's going on. <laughs> There's the head. Peter looks like he's in love already. Skin to skin. Get that skin to skin. We're not quitting yet. There's another one in there. Peter's freaking out. Oh my gosh, the two babies. Look at this little family. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, she's so happy. We've got our twins, Ivy and Oak. Aw. Oh, we're heading straight home. Wow. They don't they don't waste a minute. They're like, okay, babies are here. We're checking you out. <laughs> Pack up and head home. All right, we are home and we've got our babies. Where are they? Okay, one is in the garden here. I think this is Oak. And then Ivy is up in the bedroom. Okay, perfect. All right, well, oh, I think that's, I think that's Blossom's water. I think her water must have broke right there. So let's get them some little beds. Okay, so there's Ivy. Then we need Oak, who's in the garden for some reason. Okay, there's our two little babies. Aw. I think we can um, change their outfits now, can't we? So let's come up here. Let's give our babies a little cuddle. Here we go. Here are our new parents with their new babies. Look at how cute their little family is. And um, I am going to see, I think, I'm pretty sure that we can like change, change their outfits. Oh, she's kissing him. Oh, they're so cute. So we'll, we'll give, We'll give the babies little outfits and then we're going to leave everyone to settle in. Let's do this little seedling. That will be cute for a couple of garden lovers. And then for Ivy, I love the little berries. Let's give her the little berry outfit. Oh, and he fell right to sleep. There we go. So we've got our cute, adorable little family of four. Oh, Oak is so cute with his little, his little spud, like little seedling. And then we've got Ivy here. Ivy has like purple eyes and pointy ears, which is kind of interesting. Don't know where she gets that from because we don't have any aliens in our bloodline, but maybe maybe that will change as she gets a little bit older. Oak is already asleep. He looks like a little grandpa. <laughs> He's so cute. So, so yeah, that's where we will leave our little family for today. I think what we're going to do next time is we're actually going to get ready to do some renovations and just try and make like as much money as possible. Yeah, and then we're going to start playing as a family of four. That happened so fast. We went from one, from Blossom, to having um, a full house, packed house if I have to say so. So yeah, this is where we'll end the part for today. If you're on YouTube, please remember to like the episode if you're enjoying the series and subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And I'll see you next time.